Hi viewers, so today we are going to see the major difference of what is a controller and what is a API controller. So normally uh, we have the two uh, type of uh, MEC property, uh, it's doing the controller uh, like uh, uh, business logic, handling the business logic. Uh, one is API controller and another one is controller. So what is the major difference? Why we need a controller and why we need a API controller? Okay, first we will go and see the controller. So controller normally helps us to uh, return the view. You see, suppose uh, you want to return uh, the view or you want to return a partial view or you want to return a data or all the blah blah stuffs. Everything you can do with the controller. But in API control, it just helps us to return the data, serialized data to the client. If you want to expose some um, data in a secured way, or you want to expose uh, in the way of serialization you can go ahead and use a API controller API controller will not uh, return views it's just only return the data so this is what the two examples that I have here so one is the uh, controller home controller that inherit the property of uh, controller so controller uh, it's uh, basically it is here returning the action and even it is returning the JSON result so JSON result normally it's uh, return the uh, serialized data so uh, you can return the partial views everything but if you see the API controller so API controller it's only return the data if you see here yes so in this api i have uh, set the root prefix you can able to set the root prefix see you want to expose some service uh, to the client uh, so you can um, name it as that this is like api uh, api slash student slash get if uh, if you want to allow the client to post the data so you can uh, use the method so you want to get a particular student you can so post uh, this is the put put is uh, to edit the data so if you want to edit uh, from the client uh, to uh, your end so uh, you can use the put so uh, here the action is bit different there uh, you have the option uh, post if you want to post you will mention HTTP post but here so this is the response type a student so you can directly post by a model and uh, you can set the root of uh, the action that uh, you are uh, using because uh, why we are setting up the root because this is the API that we are exposing to the client so client expect the names should be meaningful so that's what the root helps us the root prefix normally uh, you can name your services I served like API slash student and slash uh, post a student and uh, if I inject uh, the model then it will data will be get added so this is what the main um, difference even yes uh, with the controller you can uh, return the data even you can uh, name the data by mentioning the action name so uh, this will uh, basically it will return the action result uh, action result have uh, different subtypes like uh, it will return a view uh, result, uh, partial views, JSON, content, if you want to return HTML files, yes it is, by a controller you can achieve that. So that is what the major difference, so normally developer need to know about that. Hopes you understand, thanks for watching a video guys. If you have other uh, things like, uh, this is what the other major uh, difference or this is the main uh, difference that I didn't explain in this tutorial, you can share your uh, comment on that and you can add as a command the people will get to know about that thanks for watching the video guys uh, please subscribe our channel if you're not subscribed before you have a subscribe button below in a YouTube so that you can find out anyways thanks for watching the video guys